I don't lie to men. I, I try to help men because I'm one. You think my you think it's a better roses for my wife? It's a better form. <laughs> you gotta get to the roses. I'm sweet after you get past the perk. The what they call it? The pricks. Man, you know you gotta be safe for me to talk bad about you. You still say it. <laughs> I, I love any man because you know what? It, 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 you know, because now if you're married and you heard this whole message, your wife you got something for you when you get home. <laughs> Jesus. You know, and, you know, and, I, and I, I've done a, I've done a lot of the young guys in this service in this church because I always talk from my experience, and they believe they could be able to do what I do. You ain't paid for what I've done. Hey! You ain't for demons and devils. Hey! Come on, now you ain't, you wasn't shipwrecked. Yes. I may talk the trash, but I walk the walk. Amen. Amen. I go home. I got to take out the garbage. Hallelujah. I'm on my way out. My wife go like this. Get that trash. Now I'm sitting on the bed. Grab the garbage. And I take it out. You gotta, you know, what they say when you call it, you gotta know when to hold, know when to hold. No <laughs> see, there's a challenge because, see, what happens, the problem when men are not wise is your ego gets in the way. Yes. And your ego comes from pride. It's yes. true. Yes. I mean, I'm a pastor. You don't think I, you don't think I suffer with pride? Yes. yes. All the time. Amen. I think I have the most demonic influence suppressed in this church. Exactly. See, that turns out even big words and nobody knows what this I have the most demonic influence suppressed. I'm the one that gets tempted more than all y'all. Yes, yes, yes. And I got to fight it all day. Yes, yes. Stuff y'all do for a living I can't even think about. All right. Cursing each other out. Yes. Rolling yes. eyes at each other. All right, all right, all right. Let me do that. Be right. like, there's no God. There is no God. Right. It's true. <laughs> I'm out of here. How many want to still get married? Why? You know, there is no such thing as a bad husband or a bad wife. Amen. You just call them on a bad day. Let's go real quick. James chapter 3, verse 13. And I'm done. I know some of you might think, where is he going with this message? But I think God wants all of us to realize there's a wisdom yes. that's in us that yeah. comes from Satan. Hallelujah. And we need to recognize it. James, James chapter 3, verse 13. Who is a, who is a wise man and, and endured with knowledge among you? Let him show out of a good conversation his works with meekness of wisdom. But if we have bitter envy and strife in your heart, I'm missing some words. Glory God. Gotta read it for me. Glory God, and lie not against the truth. This wisdom descendeth not from above, but is earthly, sensual, devilish. So if you have envy and strife in your heart, if you're arguing and fighting, that wisdom is not coming from God. Amen. Amen. It's earthly, uh -huh. sensual, uh -huh. devilish. Right. I'm going to say something that's going to help each and every person in this place right. if you let me close this message. Amen. If you're in an argument, you're only going to see it physically. Phys What's the word? Earthly. Physically. But you need to understand that the root is not in the argument. <laughs> That's the leaf on the tree. Yeah. But the argument was first, well, can I say, the argument was stimulated mm -hmm. sensually mm -hmm. in your heart. Yes. Your desire to win something. Uh -huh. Your desire to prove a point. All right. Right? It says if there's envying and strife that's arguing and having problems and issues, yeah. you know, that's the outward manifestation. That's that's what it would call earthly. Yeah. But it it, it, it it started sensually. Uh 
You feel how you want to hurt somebody before yeah. you hurt them. Yeah. 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 It's true. It's true. Essential. Essential. You don't. You can't enjoy cursing somebody out unless you first felt it. Amen. Anybody want to tell the truth? You feel how good cursing them out is going to feel before you do it. You feel how it would be to kiss a woman before you kiss her. That's why Jesus said if a man lusts up in his heart before he even touches her. So when we're in an argument, when we're envy, and we need to realize that I felt like cursing you out. But the apostle calls this wisdom. He said, this wisdom descendeth not from above, but is first earthly, sensual, devilish. Now we need to understand whenever we're doing things in the natural, it came from our heart. But before that, it came from our Father, yes. the yes. devil. Amen. So you see, he said, this wisdom, it descendeth not from above, but it comes from physical desire, yes. satisfying sensual lust, yes. which started from yes. Satan's will. Amen. Uh -huh. So if you're married or in a business relationship or you're a friend or you're in church, and you have to still have the audacity to have an argument with somebody in the church, you okay. are like the devil. Yeah. All right, teach. Amen. 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 Amen.